Hi, Jean. So the first uh, part of the question, part A, asks you for the exact angular velocity in radians per second. So this is just a matter of converting um, that angular velocity that's given in different units. So it's given in revolutions per minute into um, radians per second. So uh, we're going to use something called dimensional analysis, which is a really common um, technique, strategy to use. So we're going to write the um, angular velocity in its given units, which is four revolutions per, which means over every one minute. The blade will complete a full circle every one minute. Well, we don't want it in uh, per minutes. We want it, um, the units to be per second. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by a fraction that's equal to 1 using a conversion factor. In this case, we want to put minutes on top, and we want to put seconds on bottom. What, is that, what that is going to do is it's going to allow the minutes to cancel out and just leave us with seconds in the denominator. Uh, how many minutes per second or how many seconds per minute? Well, it turns out that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we've got a one in the numerator, we've got a 60 in the denominator. What's the other unit we need to convert? Well, we need to convert from revolutions into meters. So how many meters are there in one revolution? Well. Uh, for every revolution, we're going to have, again, this time we're going to have revolutions on the bottom to cancel out with the revolutions on the top. We're going to have meters on the top to cancel out with revolution, uh, to cancel out or to stay there as meters, and we're going to end up with meters per second. Well, every one revolution, um, the, uh, sorry, not meters yet, um, we want radians. Well, how many radians are there in one revolution. Uh, there are two pi radians in a complete circle. That means there are two pi radians every one revolution. We have cancel, cancel. We have 8 pi divided by 60, um, which is going to be, uh, what is that going to be? Um, pi 2 pi over 15 okay. rads per second. Uh, I'm going to add a new board. We're going to quickly do um, distance traveled in 2.5 minutes. We're going to remember that the radius is 20 meters. So radius equals 20 meters. That means that as the circumference is given by 2 pi r. So that's going to be 40 pi meters. Um, we know that it travels 4 um, revolutions per minute. So we do 4 revs times each time it makes a revolution. Um, completes 40 pi meters and we're going to let these blades spin um, rotate for 2.5 minutes so we're going to multiply by 2.5 minutes we're going to get our answer here um, 4 times 2.5 is 10 10 times uh, 40 pi is 400 pi so the exact answer is 400 pi meters in 2.5 minutes um, you could give an approximation of that answer by, you know, using a calculator and doing um, uh, 400 times pi. Uh, and your calculator will tell you that that's approximately, um, well, rounding to the nearest meter is 1257 meters in 2.5 minutes. All right. Hope you enjoyed it.